please pay attention. Now, this is continuation for the group policy object, CIN 2003, week 9. This is the second lecture on group policy. Today, we will take some examples of group policy and how they are configured, because we are going to do a lab on group policy. OK? There are two types of configuration policies. We said this last time. We have user configuration and computer configuration. Computer configuration for, uh, policies, they are assigned at the computer level. And they are only activated or assigned when the computer is turned on. OK? They are bound to computers regardless of the user that is logged on to the computer. That applies to both local computers and domain joint computers. OK? Computer configuration policies. To set up GPO at the computer level, you need to complete the following steps. Press the Windows key plus R to open Run Dialog. In the Run Dialog, enter GP Edit and press OK. In the forest pane of the GPM console, right-click the domain and select Create a GPO. We are going to do all this in the lab, inshallah. OK? Then in the new GPO windows, enter the name for the new GPO and then click OK. All right? And then right click the newly created GPO and select edit. And then we are going to select the policy. OK? OK, now we go to the user configuration policies. Unlike computer configuration policies, user configuration policies, they represent the GPOs that are assigned to the user level. So when they are assigned, when the user log, uh, log on, OK? And if you want, if he, is, he was already logged on and you entered some policy, it will not be assigned unless he logged out and then logged on again, OK? To set up the GPOs at the user level, complete the following steps. You need to repeat the steps there. We are going to do this in the lab. So here you will select on the OU and then right click and GPO, link GPO, edit GPO, and all this. User configuration policies. Close the group management editor. In the GPO pane, right-click the recently created GPO and select Enforced. OK? We will do this in the lab, inshallah. Now, OK, now we start talking about some of the important tasks. Always a good practice for administrator to rename the administrator account. Lesh, who can tell me why? Anybody? Because if someone wants to hack, the first thing they will think about is what? The administrator account, because it's the most powerful. So it's good practice to rename the administrator account. To rename it, you need to go under computer configuration policies, Windows settings, security settings, local policies, and security option. And then double click at accounts and rename administrator account. Someone might ask me, do I have to remember all this? Actually, what I saw in the previous practical exam, they will give you a hint where you find it. At least they will tell you whether it is a computer or user configuration. Okay. Okay. Any questions about this?
ओके securing the network services in particular and the whole network of the organization in general are the most highest or the highest priority also you need also to rename the guest account you can also rename it using the gpo also it is under computer configuration okay Good. So now we have two policies. We learned about two policies, renaming administrator, renaming guest. Blocking Microsoft accounts. To block the Microsoft accounts using GPO, you navigate to the path and then you go to computer configuration and then double click accounts, block Microsoft accounts. Okay, once you click on it, you apply the policy for security reason to prevent users from adding and login into organizations computers with their Microsoft account. System administrators have the option to block the usage of Microsoft accounts. Okay, and they should use their domain account, their company account. Okay. Okay, so this is blocking Microsoft accounts. So now we have learned three policies, right? The fourth one is prohibiting access to the control panel and PC settings. This one is under user configuration. User configuration. Also, we have another policy denying access to all removable storage uh, devices this is under user configuration also user configuration okay so these were examples of configuring gpos from many that are supported by windows server 2019 we've talked about this because they are very important And they are some of the most commonly used GPOs. So in this chapter, you have learned about GP, GPO group policy. And then you can limit the user's ability to change the settings on a server. Okay. Any questions about this chapter? Uh, can you please open your 